So caveat, if you hear a little mini me in this recording, you're more than likely listening to my mini me that's currently in the room with me. Forewarning, I wanna continue where we left off. Using the silver bullet for one of my sounds. And we're gonna be kinda of doing the same thing today. We're just gonna be using it on another sound, on another mix that I'm working on. With that being said, let's get into it. But before we go there, I'd like to apologize only because this is my third time recording this video. Why? Because the first two attempts failed miserably due to distortion happening inside of my microphone. Why did I have distortion? Well, apparently my Presonus Quantum has this thing where if the back gets heated, whether it's at the Thunderbolt port or the mic input, yeah. Either distortion is going to occur, such as the cackling and the crackling that you hear when you have a bad cable, it's going to happen at the mic. All right, I got 8% battery. I think we're going to make it. We're going we're gonna to make it. Let me listen to this. Uh, for the last video, I was actually working on the roads. So if you listen to the roads before or the Thunderbolt driver just utterly fails. And so I've been dealing with that and came to the conclusion that the AC, which is probably the noise of hiss that you're hearing right now, has to be running to keep this environment cool since I am upstairs and physics tells us that heat rises. Go figure. It's not like it really needs to be processed by the silver bullet, but I mean, why not? It's a pad and it has steer information and I need to spread more stuff out. So automatically, I wanna hit this aspect ratio button. Okay, that aspect ratio button is automatically just going to like bloof the left and the right into the outer atmosphere of our track. So you can kind of hear the shift that's happening between it. Like when it's really mid heavy, you can feel the midness. Is that a word? I don't, I don't know. Midness. Is that a word? Um, God, whatever. Uh, let's just continue. Uh, you can feel the midness, like you can feel the harmonics all of right here. Their center. The minute I activate this aspect ratio button, it's gone and it feels like it's playing more in the background. So we accomplished the first thing that we wanted. So API don't really like mids. So let's see what we get. Very interesting. It's not even going that much inside of it. Matter of fact, I'm not even driving it, but you can clearly hear this difference. Like when I, anytime I hear an API emulation or the 512 when I was in graduate school for audio engineering, the API will always dip the mids, boost the low end, boost the high end. Watch when I start driving this. Set my settings back to Unity like I always do. And now we're putting in what I like to call Unity Drive. This I made that up, so don't read the manual for that. So we can kind of hear that it got louder. Mm -hmm. 
Loudness will fool you. Please be cautious. Distort in those mids. Let's crank it. Like right there at 1K, right? Let's go to the end. I'm going to show you. You hear Neve has a little bit less distortion in that than the API does in that same area. And that's what I'm talking about. Now there's not really much low or high end inside of this sound. If I open up the SSL. Right after, and that's what we get. So like, you see how strong those resonances are. We get these other harmonics that just kind of pop in. Remember, that's the Neve. So that's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna put this back, Unity. Now, for some reason, put that all the way back. When I push the gain really hard, well, the output and the drive is all the way down. This unit does have a tone, and that's what I heard originally. Now, I like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it all the way through this box full output everything is just going to get the box tone and whatever little api harmonic that it gets and that's it there is a slight difference that's happening there and that's exactly how i want to print it so if you don't know my print setup it's keep the track in the session that's that's it right click duplicate track complete so we're going to get a second copy and it's already going to number it two inside of studio one so that means i should have the same settings on here as i do on here which then means that i am going to then disable and hide this one and simply render this track. 